This is the video that I was told not to share. This was supposed to be aired about six weeks ago, but I was told not to by the beings that I'm about to mention in this short little story. I was meditating in my bed and I was doing an interpretation meditation. Now, for me, I have to literally split my mind up into, into little aspects of myself in order to create a scenario within my dream realm for the sole purpose of figuring things out, you know? So, for example, if I wanted to solve a problem and logically going through it in my head wasn't enough, I would create little people in my mind in order to play out the problem. And I would just watch from afar in hopes of me seeing my issue from a different vantage point. And as I slowly fall into a sleep like slumber, <laughs> I am experiencing a dream from a third perspective, an omnipresent perspective. And that's often what I have to do most of the time, just a dream. Yeah. But my meditation was interrupted by vibrations, not of the body, but of what felt like this space around me. And my consciousness, my astral body itself was taken to a different plane of existence. Now it didn't look very fancy and lovely. Matter of fact, it just looks like my old bedroom because it was my old bedroom. It was my old house, the house I used to live in. The one where there's paint all over the walls, okay? And I'm thinking to myself, fine, you know, what's gonna happen now? Who brought me here and why did they choose to disappear shortly after I arrived? I didn't have a plan. I never do. It interrupts my astral projection process. I went downstairs and I left my front door, old front door. I looked up into the sky and I saw the stars. I thought to myself, should I go see Saturn? You know, the rings of Saturn, maybe Mars, some other planet. Let's try and fly. So I jump up a few times because nothing's happening, right? I feel a bit too heavy. There was a brief moment where I jumped up and closed my eyes and it took me a little bit longer to hit the floor. I knew for a fact that if I had kept trying, I would have eventually went up into space, but I just thought, fine, I'll do something else instead. And that is when I saw it. I looked up into the sky and usually you'll see clouds, right? Well, above the clouds, the color of the dark blue sky, because it's never really black, if you're going to be honest with yourself. It's like a really deep navy blue sky. You know, it's like really dark. It's not black. I know people are going to be like, no, it's definitely black. But just seriously, from what I'm looking at anyway, it looks really dark blue. And above the cloud lines, it's a, a slightly hueish pink. And that is because of this one fact, okay? The stars, the heavens. I was literally looking at the sky of another dimension. It, overlaid on top of my one, or the one that I was in. That is when I felt something thinking from afar, and I saw two stars moving. I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Meteorites, nope, they got closer. <laughs> and as they got closer, they broke through the barrier that was separ separating the two worlds. And as they broke the barrier, they actually shape-shifted from looking like a star that a person with wings, not angel wings, but more like an insect, actually, but a very large insect made out of light. Small, around about four foot, but then again, it's quite far away, so it looked pretty small. <laughs> As it got closer, it shifted into a black guy, okay? And it landed right in front of me. The other meteorite did the same thing, but it was a white guy. And then he decided to walk off and he vanished into thin air. The black guy, however, he was dressed in, better put, he shifted himself into a plumber's attire, their uniform, and he had a hat, dusted it off, put it on top of his head. He said, oh yeah, great, you're here. You're, you're here. Cool. I'm going to need your help. And I'm thinking, oh, I know who you are. See, the thing is with being in the astral realm is you unlock a lot of memory, especially when you bump into people like this. This guy was one of my spirit guides, or 
you guys would call them spirit guides. We would call each other family. Star family, no, not Arcturian or Andromedan or stuff like that. I mean, when you reside in Source, before you come to 3D, usually, you'd split up and experience different states of yourself, different levels of duality. And the first level, if you're gonna look at Source consciousness as level zero, you don't even have faces, but you are somewhat separate. And then as you come down, you start splitting up until eventually you get to 3D and the other layers of creation below 3D, okay? So we are from a place where we look similar and we have really cool abilities. Plus we, we look like angels in a sense, not from the biblical sense, but from more of a multi-dimensional light being sense. Now, he had not realized that I've been living on earth many incarnations for quite a while. So from his perspective, I just only left that heaven realm that he come from and I'm supposed to remember how to do a bunch of things. Not only that, but I'm supposed to be really skilled at astral projection. More skilled than I am. I mean like being able to stay outside of the body for a very, very long time. Okay. Now, when he showed up, like I said, I remembered a bunch of things. I turned to my left with him. Now, this is where it gets really cool. Okay, guys, the white van all of a sudden shape shifted. This, this random white van shape shifted a ladder appeared on top and then a logo appeared along the side saying uh, plumber or something plumbers uh, it was a really cool beginning of the name because the beginning sounded very very ancient <laughs> he had basically just taken our names and he had just mixed it up into something that sounded more earthly so he said we've got a job there is this guy in 3D and he's going through some issues. He's very mentally unstable. We need to give him an adjustment. And I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah, I remember now, an adjustment. Now, an adjustment is this. We show up in disguise, usually at night, not so often throughout the day. And when you see us, you'll just think that we're your neighbor, the plumber, the electrician, okay? <laughs> You'll think that we're human. And we'll walk into your house, if you let us, or we'll just knock on the door. We only need to, we'll see you sometimes, but in this case we didn't, I'll get into that in a second. But basically, what happens is, for a moment, you're no longer in 3D when we show up. We actually take you into a separate dimension outside of this time and space, and you actually believe that you're still in 3D. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we knock on this guy's door and we say that we're here to do some work. I walk in and the owner of the house who's in a separate dimension who we're adjusting walks off into the living room, okay? My friend, my spirit guide, my family member, my star family, whatever you want to call him, closes the door behind him, okay? So now the person we're fixing is in the room and he doesn't know what we're doing. Perfect. He said to me, case the house. We're looking for something. Most of the time, it looks like an object. In this instance, it was a key. A key that you use to open up a can of tuna. Very weird. I, I don't know why it was like that. It was just disguised like that. And what the key was, fundamentally, was a different kind of frequency that manifested as that key. Okay, again, it's under a certain cloaking illusion to look like something you guys wouldn't bat an eye at. You'll see it and you'll just leave it alone. You'll have no idea that it's something from another dimension. So I find the key underneath the sink. It's taped under the sink, okay? And then we take that multi-dimensional piece of frequency out of his residency because it was making him a little insane. <laughs> and then we walked into his kitchen. He has this very long, lovely, varnished black kitchen. Now, this is what I love about Astro Projection. You remember everything. He comes around, and this is where it gets kind of weird. My friend speaks to him in English, but it's like he's having two forms of communication with him. It's like he's comforting him through saying how he's fixed his plumbing issue 
but he's hearing a different story and his soul is responding differently also. And all of a sudden he starts to relax. We leave the house and my friend says to me, okay, Ryan, it's great that you're here. I'm gonna need you for a very long time. We've got a lot of houses to see, okay, a lot of people to adjust. I'm freaking out a little bit because my time's running out. I can only stay in the Astros for a few days at best. And at least that specific realm, there are other dimensions where time has been stretched. So it feels like I'm there for millennia. But within that domain, my time was running out. But I just said to him, okay, sure. I'll hang around as long as I can. And as we start approaching another building, I disappear and I show up here again in this plane of existence. This happens all the time. And it's still happening to this day. You know, a lot of people having this kind of treatment done to them and they have no idea. So I'm Ryan JC. Ryan, James, Grubber, this has been your potential. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll speak to you all pretty soon. Peace.